Let's take a look at uh, Donald Trump, who did a uh, rally this weekend supporting uh, J.D. Vance, who, I, I mean, I haven't seen any recent polling, but he was really in the crapper. Yeah. Um, is he still? What's the latest polling on him? See if we can pull that up. But here is um, he's in a rally. He's uh, endorsed J.D. Vance in the Ohio Senate race. Um, and <laughs> the is, meant for Vance was a lot of new Peter Thiel money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here is uh, here is Donald Trump. Me. Great. Go back. Go back. He's a guy that said some bad shit about me. Yeah. Going blue. He did. But you know what? Every one of the others did also. In fact, if I went by that standard, I don't think I would have ever endorsed anybody in the country. You want to know? They all said bad, but they all came back. But I will tell you, he he was tough, and but the others were tough, and they all a lot of them said some really bad things. And ultimately, I put that aside. By the way, he's been like uh, incredible in the last period of time, long period of time. I, I'm a bit, you got to appreciate a guy who's able to give an endorsement that is really just, it's really, I'm endorsing him, but in many ways I'm endorsing me. Yeah, he was incredible in the last period of time. It was a long period of time that he was incredible in, but it was a period of time that he wasn't so incredible, but he came back home to start being incredible again. Can we pull he, this up, Matt, this like private message that he sent to somebody? Sorry, keep going, Sam. Well, the the amazing thing is is that the the how many of these people, these Republicans have followed this exact same trajectory? You know, uh, uh, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio. I mean, vehement, vehement, yeah. never Trumpers. Um, and the the thing is, is that I, you know, I don't know. Uh, in the event that Donald Trump is not uh, our president in 2024 or 25, like, in, and JD Vance finds it, uh, and or and, and Trump sort of ends up uh, going away, J.D. Vance is going to be able to recycle his image in the same way that all these Republicans are able to recycle their image. There's such a thirst, not just by our media, but even by the, the leadership of the Democratic Party to, to, to normalize these people and have them return home to some type of normalization. It really is just um, a, a failure of both the media and the party that is supposedly oppositional to uh, Republicans to take advantage of these things. Well, they should take advantage of something like this. Like this is a conversation. I just want I, I forgot to to put this on the show recently in, in sound. But this was this guy who was J.D. Vance's, I think, friend from college um, at uh, Harvard, Yale. Which one did he go to? It doesn't really matter. But he this is a screen in 2016 about about Donald Trump. I'm not surprised by Trump's rise. And I think the entire party has only itself to blame. We are, whether we like it or not, the party of lower income, lower education, white people. And I've been saying for a long time that we need to offer these people, those people something and hell, maybe even expand our appeal to working class black people in the process or a demagogue would. We are now at that point. Trump is the fruit of the party's collective neglect. I go back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical asshole like Nixon, who wouldn't be that bad and might even be prove useful, or that he's America's Hitler. How is that for discouraging? So, like, just to sh- just to make it abundantly clear how cynical this pivot is by J.D. Vance. There you go. I mean, maybe he just decided he's just turns out to be a, a you know cynical bastard like Nixon, and that right. I can live with. Yeah, but but did you? Uh, as soon as I saw this clip over the weekend, Sam, when he said shit, I thought of you, right? He's because he's he's. It, you mentioned that Trump goes blue when he feels like he can't get the crowd riled up in the way that he used to, and yeah. that's kind of what we're seeing there, right? He's starting to drop it. Yeah. This ma- this marriage between him and JD Vance does not uh, seem organic, even to the people attending that rally. <laughs> like, well, like this, let me yeah. just say shit and see how that does with everybody. <laughs> That's some bad shit. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what happens. Like, if I would be compelled to go see what shit he said about my boy Trump if I was one of those MAGA people, and I don't know what I'd feel about that. Yeah. 
Um, meanwhile, Trump uh, was, you know, rolled out the the all the bits this past week uh, at, in uh, Delaware, Ohio. Here he is commenting on the the footage of Joe Biden seemingly shaking hands with uh, somebody who wasn't there. Um, and he's got uh, he's 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 hired his entire team of writers to work on this one. We've never had anything like this. And we have a president right now, sadly, who has absolutely no idea what the hell is happening. He's shaking hands with the air. He's walking around somewhat bewildered. I'd say it's no good. And taking orders from the Easter Bunny. You saw that one? No, no, no. You know, the Easter Bunny was a political operative. He did a good job, actually. That guy, we should hire that guy. He was very good. He said, no, no, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk to those people. We've never had anything. As opposed to what Sean Spicer? Wasn't it Sean Spicer's belo- like favorite part of his job that he was to dress up like the Easter Bunny? Yeah, Maybe right. it was Sean behind the mask. It's just uh, he's really, um, I mean, I, he's just back to full on doing his stand up routine at this point. Yeah. And I don't know. I can't tell whether it's resonating or not, but certainly, um, you know, uh, Biden's got to do something to yeah. change the narrative. I mean, it's just the bottom line. I mean, it's just that that was what Fox News was running with last week. Some just like garbage about how uh, Biden was talking, getting into it, close face talking with some person at a at an Easter event about I forget what it was. Uh, some some he was. Yeah. Talk is Ukraine or something. Ukraine. Yeah. And the Easter Bunny ushered him away. And so Fox was like, look at that. You know, somebody's the, that's his handler behind the mask. And Trump's just repeating that. It's it says it's as lazy as he always was, except I just it's. But frankly, like, I think it's I, I mean, I, I think the bottom line is, though, is that as it, as as there is there is a vacuum that is created. There, there has not been any type of significant legislation passed. I mean, even if you want to credit the glorified highway bill for being a significant piece of legislation, that was six months ago and uh, more mm. seven months ago. And, it, and it, it wasn't a terribly significant piece of legislation. The only other things that have happened is you've had the expiration of things like the child tax credit. You've had expiration of unemployment benefits. You've had expiration of like COBRA. You, you're going to have a soon expiration of subsidies to the ACA. The, 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 the complete absence of any other story other than Joe Biden is shaking hands or some variation of show uh, Joe Biden is shaking hands with nobody. Um, it, it, th- there's a reason why it's going to start to resonate with people because there is no other narrative. And you talk to people who just wonder, you know, who don't follow politics that much. And I've talked to many people who said the same thing, like, you know, where's Joe Biden? You know, part of it is, I think, like the, the country got addicted to the idea that you need to hear from the president every minute. But the other thing is, the question is, like, what is the Biden administration doing? I I know that he appointed a good lawyer to the National Labor Relations Board, and that has implications for organizing with Amazon. But that's not your average American just doesn't. That's not going to resonate with them. That's not enough. The, he needs to do some bold things that will, at the very least, capture the imagination of the broad you know, of, of, of the of the broad spectrum of the country. And, it, you know, cancel student debt, if not for the policy reasons, just to make it remind people that you're there doing something. Yeah, it's the limits of the um, I'm bring us back to normalcy politics, because then you actually have to sell yourself. Um, and Biden is entirely incapable of that. He he got he lucked into an election where he didn't have to speak publicly for long stretches. And that's the the what we're seeing the limits of his capacity in this moment. And it's going to hurt Democrats. It will. And I mean, we, we saw this coming from the get go. Yep. Very problematic. There was a tweet that Ron Klain, the chief of staff, uh, tweeted out the other day. 
saying that uh, Macron's popularity numbers were really low, and yet he still beat uh, Marie Le Pen. And, um, you know, when you get to hang your hat on that, you know you're in trouble. His, yeah. his, his margin of, of victory was halved. Yes. 10, 10 million to 5 million votes. Yeah, there's a slight difference between the uh, GOP and Marine Le Pen's party as well in terms right. of the type of uh, power that party has in their respective countries. And, uh, you know, it's also just a sort of a desperate, there's a little bit of desperation where, I don't know, I remember doing a, uh, I got hired to do a sitcom that was a remake of another version. And uh, they, they paired me with Nancy McKeon, actually who was uh, from uh, Joe from Facts of Life. Mm. And I said, you know, I, I just not feeling it was supposed to be like a romantic comedy. I'm like, I, I don't really feel any chemistry with her. And they said, well, the, the last uh, version of this show we did, they felt a lot of chemistry off camera. Apparently they had <laughs> hooked up, and, but it wasn't there on camera. So maybe if you feel no chemistry off camera, maybe it'll be there on camera. And, you know, it's just like at that point, they're just going like, you're getting paid a lot of money. Just take the money and shut up. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but it's also just sort of like a desperate, we, we don't know what we're doing. 